This is our interview with Atypical Hiker. How did you get started camping, hiking, or backpacking? Um, well, I started camping when I was uh, around 13. Um, I had a little time in the Boy Scouts, but before Boy Scouts, I was interested in these camp in the backyard. Uh, I think it was 12. What I wanted for my birthday was a tent, and I got a canvas pup tent Ooh. from the Army Surplus store for my birthday present. And I had a friend that had a uh, big acreage, and we would go, my mom would drive us when I was 13 and just leave us there, and we'd camp on the property out there. So it's been a long time thing now. Uh, kind of got out of it. Uh, and in 2017, I started watching uh, Dixie's channel, and I had a friend, it was interestingly enough, started watching Dixie, and it, it was inspiring me about uh, hiking again. And a friend invited me on a trip on the Ben Mackay in 2017 and you know I had put on a lot of weight and everything and I was like man I just I don't know so I started walking and because I had conditioned myself from the walking I was able to go and of course the mountains were, were much tougher than than being at the house but so we I was able to do that trip and uh was further inspired later on by second chance hiker who was a big hiker like myself uh you know to uh, just keep getting out there and doing it and losing weight and enjoy the outdoors. So that's, that's kind of how I got back into it. They're still sleeping. Yeah, they're still asleep. What is your favorite trail and why? Well, I guess it would have to be the Ben Mackay for now uh, because I've been back there a couple of times and. Uh, I don't know, it, it's, uh, it's more of a, what would you call it, wilderness type of setting and trail. Um, it's, you know, not that traveled as far as like AT and some of the other trails. So, yeah, right right now I'd say the Benton Mackay. I'd like to, done, you know, done section hikes on it, I'll probably end up working that thing at least in sections until I get it finished. What is your favorite food to eat on trail? I like the Idahoan mashed potatoes uh, with summer sausage cut up in it. That, that, to me, that's one of the best things that I eat out on trail. I didn't bring any of that this trip because I'm kind of laying off the carbs and it's just, it's just loaded with them. So. That's good. That just made me hungry. <laughs> yeah, it's really good with summer sausage cut up. It's really good. What is your favorite season to go out in? I would have to say the fall. For some reason, fall has always been one of my favorite seasons. And uh, I don't know. It's like when I, when I smell wood smoke in the fall, I think about when I was younger and boiled peanuts and, and just being out in the woods and... and uh, that sort of thing. So it would be it would be fall for me. She don't know what ball peanuts are, Kevin. <laughs> you need to try some. They're good. It's a southern thing. <laughs> Do you tent or hammock? Tent. And are you ultralight? And why or why not? I would say no. <laughs> not ultralight. <laughs> and no, uh, no, no, I'm not not ultralight and reason being well one is uh that stuff's expensive and uh i don't know that i could be ultra light so <laughs> I, 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 that's the only way i know how to answer that one i'm seeing your fingers i'm sorry what state are you from georgia georgia what is the weirdest encounter or experience you've had on trail think of any real weird ones uh, I guess you know at the last time I went to Benton we ran into bear hunters you know <laughs> he's sitting there with a the gun he's got all this radio thing because they're they track their dogs so uh, you know I guess that's not really too weird but 
I wasn't expecting that. I thought you were going to say a horse running past your tent. Well, I didn't think about that. <laughs> that is interesting. I thought you were going to say hiking with senior hiker. <laughs> <laughs> What's the scariest moment you've had? I can't. I can't think of. I mean, I know when I hiked the PMT, and I was solo on the PMT. Um, I was awakened out of a uh, dead sleep, and my heart was racing because, like, a deer was bounding through, and it, it just it startled me and scared me. So, but so far, yeah, when well, that's not too bad, but but yeah, I guess it would have to be that because I haven't you know, nothing good good thing, nothing really scary has happened. Yeah, that's good. All right, thank you, Atypical Hiker, for All letting right. me interview you.